Yesterday we talked about a little bit about the circumference of a circle. Who can remind me what the circumference of a circle is? Who can raise your hand and tell me? Jamie? Yeah, it's kind of like the perimeter. Okay, your circumference is the distance around the circle. So the part that I'm highlighting right now, that's the circumference. That's what we're going to start with today. And the formula that I want you guys to write down in your notes right now is this one that I just starred. The circumference equals pi times your diameter. That's it. Okay, so write this one down. Don't worry about the second one. We'll talk about it in a second. But write down circumference equals pi times your diameter. So this one right here. Don't worry about drawing this figure down. If you want to, you can. But remember from yesterday, our diameter goes from one end of the circle through the center all the way to the other end of the circle. Okay, our diameter is also made up of a radius plus a radius, right? There's two of them in here. So if you're given a circle and they ask you to find the circumference, but all they give you is the radius, what are you going to have to do first? Yeah, so if they give you the radius of 3, can you use this formula yet? No, you'll have to find the diameter first. This is for 8th grade. Please excuse the interruption, but I need Carolyn Mabry, Nathan Dallas, and Joseph DeMarco to the front office. Carolyn Mabry, Nathan Dallas, and Joseph DeMarco to the main office. If this radius right here is three, what's my dotted line? Three. Three, so what's the diameter? Six. Six, okay? If you do not have the diameter before you use this formula, you have to find it. And that's what this one is right here. This is just saying that you're gonna do two times your radius, which gives you your diameter, and then times pi. I think it's easier to just remember one instead of remembering two, okay? But that's what this one is. It's the same thing because the 2 and the r right here equals our diameter. Does everybody see that? So just go ahead and memorize this one. So circumference of a circle is pi times your diameter. Questions on that so far? Who can remind me what pi is? What are we going to use to approximate pi? Pi equals what? 3.14. So make sure you have that in your notes if you were absent yesterday. We're going to use 3.14 uh, 4 pi. So if we wanted to write this, we could say circumference equals 3.14 times our diameter. It's the same thing. You just have to know that pi equals 3.14. Questions so far? Moving on. Let's go ahead and do two together. We'll do the two on the top together, and then I'll have you guys do the last two on your own. So the first one, go ahead and take a second and draw this so you have some good examples in your notebook. And I rewrote our formula up here just so we're good. You can remember it and you can see it. So for this first one, am I given the radius? or the diameter? Radius. This is the radius, so can I use this formula yet? No, I can't. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this radius all the way through the center to the other side. And then what's this dotted line right here? Three. It's three. So what's my whole diameter? Six. Six. So the radius, and you might want to get in the habit of writing all these just so you don't get confused. The radius is three. Our diameter is six. And now we can go through and use our formula. So we're not going to use the radius. And instead, we're going to use pi, which is what again? 3.14. And since that has the most digits, we're going to do 3.14 on the top. Times what? Six. Times 6. So go ahead, in your paper, do this one with me. 6 times 4. 24. Carry the 2. 6 times 1. Six. Plus 2. Three. 6 times 3. 18. 18. We're not done yet. We need to count our decimals. How many are to the right of the decimal? Two. How about down here? Zero. All together? Two. So we're going to count. One, two, put our decimal. 
just like with perimeter of polygons that we've been working with, you're going to do circumference, the units, the same way. So for our units, we're just going to put centimeters because it's a distance. So around this circle, the distance around this circle is 18.84 centimeters. When we get into area, we'll go back to doing units squared. Okay? And again, you can quickly estimate any of these by saying 3.14 is close to 3, 6 is a whole number, it's 6, so what's 3 times 6? 18. So is this estimate close to our answer? Yeah, it's really close, so I'm going to say that that's a pretty good answer. Okay? If you're way off, or if you count your decimals wrong, say we accidentally put our decimal here, is 188 close to 18? No. No, so you're going to want to recount your decimals again. Okay, so just be careful with that, and that's something that you could do really quickly in your head. Let's jump over here to this one. Go ahead and draw this one in your notebook. So in this circle here, do we have the radius or do we have the diameter? diameter. The diameter. What do we need for our formula, the radius or the diameter? diameter? So do I need to change anything to this? No, all you have to do is multiply. Pi is what again? 3.14 times our diameter, which is what? That's it. So this one, they set this up nicely for us because they gave us what we needed. If they give you what you need, don't change anything. So 8 times 4? 32 carried 3. 8 times 1? Plus 3? 11, carry the 1, 8 times 3, plus 1, 25. And then count your decimals. How many are to the right of the decimal? Two. Two, how about here? Zero. Yeah. So all together? Two. 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 One, two, here's my decimal. Again, if we quickly estimate this, 3.14 is close to 3. 8 is a whole number. What's 3 times 8? 24. 24, is that close to our answer? Yeah. Yeah. And then what unit am I, unit am I going to put on the end of this? Miles. What is the M? Meters. Meters. Miles is MI. So this would be the distance around this circle. If the diameter is 8 meters, the distance around the circle is 25.12 meters. Questions so far? Okay, so go ahead and take a second and do these last two in your notebooks, and then we'll go through them in just a minute. bottom left, they gave us what piece of information right here? Radius. They gave us the radius. We want the diameter. So we're going to extend this to the other side, which means this one's 6. So if the radius is 6, what's the diameter? 12. 12. 6 plus 6 is 12, or 6 times 2 is 12. So using our formula, pi is 3.14 times 12. And if I were to estimate this, I have 12 times a little bit above 3, so my guess is my answer is going to be a little bit above 36. Am I right? Yes. What is it? 37.68. 37.68, do we agree? Yes. So what's our unit? Oh, inches. Inches. Okay, I'm not going to go through the multiplication part. How do we do on setting this up? Good. Good. The next one, pi times our diameter. What piece of information did they give us here? They gave us the diameter, so we don't have to do anything. All we have to do is pi times what they gave us. And again, if I were to estimate this one, I'm going to say 9 times about 3. So what's 9 times 3? 27. Is your answer somewhere around 27? Yeah? Antonio, what is it? 28.26, do we agree? Yes. Yeah. And then what unit? Feet. Uh, feet. feet. Come on, board. 28.26 feet. Questions on these? All right, let's work on just a couple more. I'm not going to make you do all of these. But go ahead. Don't do this one because we basically just did that one. Um, go ahead and do, I'll circle some. I want you to do this one. I want you to do 11, 
and I want you to do 12. I want the circumference, yep. Find the circumference. So 9, 11, and 12. 